It sure is dark in here. Some chump sent me a letter saying I need to brush up on my dueling skills. I'll show him a thing or two about dueling. Really, Joey? It isn't polite to call your best friend a chump. I can't believe it! You sent me that letter, Yugi? Why? You don't think I'm a good duelist? You have not been practicing, and as a result, your game has started to slip. That is why I brought you here, to refresh your knowledge. Take this deck I created for your lesson. What? You want me to duel you with these cards? No. I will be guiding you in a duel against a dual computer. It is a strong and calculating opponent, so pay careful attention to what I say. Now, shuffle your deck. You can do this by clicking on it multiple times. Now, place your cards in the deck zone on your side of the field. Done! I'm all ready to start this game and win! Not so fast. Don't forget to place your fusion deck on the game mat as well. All right. That's where I put all my violet-colored fusion monster cards. Fusion monsters are not allowed in my deck. They have to go in the fusion deck. Good. Now we are ready to determine who will go first. I always like to do so by playing rock, paper, scissors. Choose the hand symbol you will use. Looks like the dual computer gets to choose who goes first. That's okay, because the player who goes first cannot make any attacks on that first turn. Now, draw five cards from the top of your deck. This is your starting hand. Click on your deck five times to pick up your cards. These are some awesome cards. I'm off to a good start. Yes, you have a great selection. But do you remember how the three different types of cards are used? Duh, Yugi. This isn't my first duel. These are monster cards. I use these cards to attack my opponent in an effort to reduce his or her life points from 8,000 to zero. The number of stars on a monster is its level. Normally, the more stars, the stronger the monster. I'm allowed to play one level four or lower monster each turn. That's correct. Monsters with a level higher than four require tributes, but more about that later. The yellow cards are normal monsters, and the orange cards are effect monsters. The green cards are spell cards. I can usually use these during my turns to cause all types of different effects. I just follow the instructions in the card text. And the purple cards are trap cards. I set these face down during my turn, then spring them on my opponent during any future turn. Great! Now that I'm sure you understand the cards, it's time to duel! Okay, computer, make your first move. What did it just do? It set a monster. Each player is allowed one normal summon, or set, from their hand each turn. Placing a monster card in face-down defense position is called a set. Defense position is noted by placing the card horizontally. Monsters in defense position will protect your life points from attacking monsters. Placing a monster card in face-up attack position is called a normal summon. Attack position is noted by placing the card vertically. Monsters in attack position can be used to attack the opponent. What if I want to summon a monster in face-up defense position? The rules do not allow that. You can only normal summon or set your monsters. I know what the computer did this time. It set a spell or trap card. Yes, you can place your spell cards and trap cards face down in one of your spell and trap card zones, so that you can activate them and surprise your competition on a later turn if it is a trap card. Or it could just be bluffing. The computer might be trying to trick me into thinking it has a powerful trap. Don't be reckless. It's your turn now. All right. Now, 
Which of my monsters should I summon first? Wait! It's not time for that yet. Every turn is divided into phases. This is to remind you of when you can do different things. Did you notice how during the opponent's turn, the different phases on this chart lit up as the computer progressed through its turn? The chart will do the same thing for you. Right now, it is your draw phase. You start every turn by drawing one card from the top of your deck. Okay, I drew my card. Next on the list is the standby phase. What's that again? This phase is only important if it is mentioned in the text of a card. Let's move on to your main phase one. This is where the action starts. Now I can normal summon or set a monster. I can normal summon a level four or lower monster. Hmm, this monster looks powerful. I'll choose to summon Warrior of Zera. Awesome! I choose to enter my battle phase and attack. Each monster you have in attack position is allowed one attack during your battle phase. When a face-down monster is attacked, it is flipped face-up. Now we see which monster wins the fight. Yes, by comparing the attack and defense points of the monsters. This is called calculating damage. When attacking a defense position monster, if your monster's attack points are greater than the defending monster's defense points, that monster is destroyed. Destroyed? I get to rip the card up? No! In the game, a destroyed card is placed face up in the graveyard area of its owner's game mat. Remind me what happens if my monster's attack points are not greater than the other monster's defense points? When attacking a defense position monster, if your monster's attack points are equal to the defending monster's defense points, nothing happens. But if your monster's attack points are lower, you will take the difference in damage to your life points. Ouch! Good thing my attack points were higher this time. Now that you've completed your attacks, you can activate more spell cards and set more spell and trap cards. You could also normal summon or set a monster if you hadn't already done so during your main phase one. I think I'll set my Ring of Destruction trap card so that I can activate it later if I need it. A smart play. Okay, that's it for my turn. Take your best shot, dual computer. Hey, wait a minute. That's a level 5 monster. I thought you said you could only normal summon level 4 or lower monsters unless you tribute. You are right that it is a level 5 monster, but read the effect text on the spell card the computer just played. 